Hey, this is Samad from the Pixar Times, and you're here with Robin, yep. the show director for the Pixar Play Parade. You are absolutely correct. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, no problem. Really man. happy to have you yeah. here. So this show was at Disney California Adventure, yes. the parade. This is the first time that it's here at Disneyland, the, the original park. Uh -huh. What is that like to move it across the Esplanade to here? Well, I think it, that's a great question. It's fantastic that we had a, an opportunity to bring it over. Uh, it's, the Pixar Fest came to be. So this is Pixar Play Parade celebrating Pixar Fest. We thought, what are we gonna do? What can we do? Well, let's take that parade and let's bring it over here and share it with the Disneyland guests. Yeah, that's, yeah. it's fantastic. Are there any logistical issues that go with, you know, moving it from a park that's a little larger to Disneyland where it's a little more intimate? Yeah, oh, absolutely. The, there wasn't so many challenges. There were more opportunities for us to kind of see how we can deliver this parade in a new way. How's it gonna be a new experience? Mm -hmm. So that you're absolutely correct. The intimacy of the parade is phenomenal. It's coming to, the parade is big, mm -hmm. right? Our elements are giant. And coming down Main Street, it just looks like things are flying above your head. Right. And guests are coming, or the, the entertainment's coming right at you. Yeah. It's really, really great. Of course, it was just how to get everything from there to here was the biggest <laughs> issue. Once we figured that out, it was what else are we gonna do? What else can we do to fix our play parade to make right. it seem new? Which leads exactly to my next bada, question. Bada bing. Here we go. There we go. So we've got a few new creative floats here, new characters yeah. Yeah. from Pixar's beloved films. Tell us a little bit about the new floats. You got it. The new elements that we've we've brought in, uh, first of all, touch on Pixar. We get a little taste of Pixar, and then we brought in some of our, our beloved friends that we haven't seen. Uh, and by bringing in Pixar, I think if you look over our shoulders here, mm -hmm. the original. Pixar yes. character right there, right? So the original Pixar character in the park where it all started is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So that's our new opening unit. We have the, we have, very nice. We got the ball, we got hot dancers back, it's all great. Uh, yeah, so we have the, the Pixar ball, the Pixar lamp, opens up, kind of lets everybody know we're celebrating Pixar Fest, and then boom, we're right back into what we used to do, Monsters Monsters Universities out there, The Incredibles. Uh, and then we brought in a couple of our friends, Joy and Sadness. Mm -hmm. So we have Inside Out story element out there. They're riding on the red wagon up on top of the memory orbs. And if you look behind, did you see the parade today? I did. You might have seen wonderful. Bing Bong back there. Did, did you see He's that? He's one of my favorite characters. Let's do this together. Who's your friend who loves to play? Bing, bing bong, bing, bing bong. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the music's playing. I had to go there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, that movie is incredible. I mean, going back to yeah. this lamp, I mean, it, yeah. it, it kicks off every Pixar film. That ball is in, yeah, yeah. in so many Pixar films. Was there ever any doubt that you had to put these two no, elements in the absolutely show? Absolutely not. When we, when we talked about what, what could we do, that was the first thing. In, in, in every rendering that we ever had, had the Pixar land because we knew that's what that's the statement we wanted to make. That this is Pixar Fest. Here's the symbol. These are the two iconic symbols of Pixar. They had to be in there. Where to put them is was our chat was our was our our fun, right? Mm -hmm. We sat around going, well, where do we do it? And we said, it's it's open unit. Gate opens, there they are. Yes. Tells the story. We got our, our this is what happened. Pixar came to life and told all these stories that followed. So it's really it was a no-brainer. It was an absolute no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, everything that's in there now is it's really wonderful to see. Yeah. Uh, and we've got a cool new addition coming in a couple months, The Incredibles 2. Yes. Uh, so the movie's coming out. Yeah, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about, are there any new things that we can expect from the Pixar Play Parade? Other than our, our three new elements? Yes. Uh, well, other than just the, the, just how the, the, how the parade feels. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get to um, Carl and Doug mm -hmm. and Kevin and Russell, right? right? So we do have, we have a little Paradise Falls represented <laughs> in our in our Fix Our Play Parade as well. So the, those are our three new elements. Those okay. are the story elements that we brought to life. Uh, they're, they're fun that we were able to kind of kind of take what, what we did with Pixar Play Parade and say, well, how would these characters play? Because mm -hmm. everybody in the in the parade is is, is in a form of play. Mm -hmm. you know, not really doing what they normally do in the movie. It's how do they celebrate? How do they have a good time? Right. Uh, so we've got Carl, who, who can be a little grumpy, but he's yes, totally he happy. He's got his house. He's got the balloons, right? And they're twirling around up in the air. So he's revolving. He's saying hi. And then we have our brand new uh, walk around character, Kevin. Did yes, you see, tell us did a little bit about that? Kevin. I she's mean, amazing. She's, like a, she's a puppet, right? What? I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> she's alive and well. She's alive and she's definitely right. our, she's our right. new element that uh, we love having out in the parade. You know? yeah. um, almost 10 feet tall. 
Mm. Wow. And just it's just an attention getter right off the bat. Uh, Kevin has all the freedom in the world to run up, to run around, to play and engage with the guests. So that's that's something we're really proud of. Yeah, I mean, w one of my favorite parts about adding Pixar characters is that there's like this instant connection that people have. Like yeah. people hear the music from up or they see the characters and they go, ah, like yeah. they're reminded of that opening scene, oh right? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just, and I think that's what's so cool about the, the Pixar films is that they do, they resonate, mm -hmm. right? That's why the parade has lasted for so long. These characters still, all they all resonate. The stories are still uh, as popular as they were then. They still mean something to everybody. You know, this whole new generation that gets to see it, this is all new to them. So. Yes. Uh, to be able to add these other story elements, I wish we could have added all of them. We could have had Wally out there, but what we have is really a great addition and, and takes the, the parade to a whole new level. So what happens after the end of Pixar Fest? What where, do you mean? where can we expect to see the Pixar well, Fleet Parade? Only time will tell. We'll <laughs> see what happens. You know, lots of big plans in the future, but uh, I'm sure those will all get revealed in time. All right. Thank you very yeah. much, Robin. All right, Smite. Thanks, buddy. All right.